Hi guys, good news or bad news depending on your on your view. We have a policy update for organized in-game services. And short form is boosting immunities are no longer allowed. That means for Europe for example you no longer have Nova spam, Savannah spam or Oblivion spam. And for NA that means you no longer have Huacan spam. Now they made a blue post today on the 31st of January 2022. Blizzard thinks the spam is too annoying pretty much. Increasing disturbance of the gameplay experience has been caused by organizations excessively advertising various non-traditional services in-game. So even those even those people at Blizzard agree that the spam is insane. If you go on a high pop VM like Illidan on US or Kazak on EU, you have like three posts per second. Not per minute per second pretty much can't use the trade channel now i don't think trade chat is used for any good discussions really like yeah you know what i mean if you post some politic thingy or religious thingy you know how trade chat was pretty much before or during legion so they no longer allow they no longer allow discords pretty much for boosting i, I assume that's the intent Blizzard no longer wants those Discord organizations to exist pretty much. They no longer allow boosting, matchmaking, escrow and other non traditional services. That means boosting is, you know, if you get like a raid boost, mythic plus boost, MVP boost. Matchmaking is they connect you with those people. Discord normally have a channel looking for buy and you join there and post what you want and then they matchmake you. Ask for as middleman services, so if you say you want to buy an item which is worth 20 million and you are not 100% sure if you can trust the seller or you just want to be extra sure, you both can take a middleman who both of the sides give the item to and once the middleman receives both items, gold and the item, he will then give the seller the gold and the item to you. And lastly, non traditional services, so things like you want to buy a time loss product drag. You, you can still get it for free, say if you're in the secret in the Discord, you can still get the mount gifted there. Like they find some NPC, they invite you, you kill them, you lose the mount, that's totally fine. But they simply no longer want those Discords to have any reason to exist. For this announcement, like you could join the Discord and say, hey guys, I want to buy a timeless bullet drag, and then they would connect you, they would do the matchmaking, and that service by communities is no longer allowed. It is still allowed for any solo person or guild to provide those services, just to clarify. Your guild can still boost mythic and PvP and whatever, just not via those discords. World of Warcraft accounts found to be in violation of this policy are subject to account actions. They include warnings, account suspensions and the necessary permanent closure of the disruptive World of Warcraft account. That means pretty much like multiboxing. Some people try to game the system and said, oh, I, I can still do this and I can still do that. But yeah, all of them got banned. Really recommended to not try for, to fuck with those policy update and try to game the system, their system. It will always backfire. This policy update does not restrict individuals or guilds from using the provided in-game tools trade channel to buy and sell in-game items or activities for in-game currency. Of the boosting communities, especially those who operate across multiple, especially those who operate across multiple VMs, are no longer permitted. Um, you can delete this part here, pretty much, and it is still the same meaning. Boosting communities are no longer permitted. They do not want any out-of-game discords for boosting anymore. So even if you are trying to be smart, like, hey guys, I'm Oblivion Kazakh only, and I only boost for. Uh, Kazakh guild number 13, you will probably get banned. Now for the other part, so if you want to buy like the Vanas mount, you can just still invite to a guild and those guilds can also spam in the trade chat for their services. There they want to do their Sanctum of Domination Mythic save one. They are totally perfectly fine, but again they no longer want boosting communities. Now, what do you think about the changes? Are they good? Are they bad? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.